Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing and talking about the Z-Man Easy Shrimps. Now, these come in two different types of packaging. The first packaging is the one you see here. These are actually pre-rigged with a hook on them, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then you can buy them without a hook in them, uh, not pre-rigged, just the shrimp itself in a four pack. And they cost roughly about the same price, about five to six bucks for a pack, depending on whether you get the pre-rigged ones or if you get the ones that aren't pre-rigged. So first let me go ahead and show you what this lure looks like, some of the features on it. And I'm going to show you the pre-rigged one first. And it comes with a hook on there, as you can see. Also the hook is weighted. I'm not sure of the weight, it doesn't say it on the packaging, but if I had to guess, I would estimate this to be about eighth of an ounce to a quarter of an ounce. It's got a good amount of weight to it, so you can cast it really well. Also the body of the lure, it's that Z-Man elastic material, so it's very stretchy. The tail is segmented, so you can get a lot of action out of that lure. Also has some little details like little legs there and antenna. And if you do purchase these pre-rigged ones, I highly recommend getting yourself a pack of spare soft plastics. Because over time, you might end up damaging this one. A uh, puffer fish might eat it and rip the tail off. And the nice thing about these ones that come in the packaging is that they're already uh, pre-cut to accept the hook. So as long as you don't lose the hook, you can reuse this hook on other ones. And I'll show you how to replace them here right now. So this is a spare one that I have, and it's pre-cut. The top of the head has a hole for the eye to go into, and then the back of the body has a hole for the hook to come out of. So I'll just take this one off of here. What you wanna do is push the head of the uh, hook there up into the cavity and pop it out the top like so. Then from there, just put the barb of the hook into the back of the cavity and push the lure forward a little bit. That's going to help you find where the hole is for the hook to go through. And there you have it. Have a new one all rigged up, ready to go. Now as far as rigging up the lure, how I would tie it onto the line, I like to use a loop knot with any type of lure that has an erratic action. So if you're twitching this around, that loop knot actually allows the lure to move around more freely and more of a natural erratic type of motion. So a loop knot is a way to go with these. That's what I prefer to use when tying these onto my leader. Now the colors that I showed you here, the first one that I showed you, that kind of goldish color, that's a greasy prawn. That's what the color's called. I like this color because it's more of a natural uh, kind of shrimp looking color. And then you have, of course, the pink which is what they label as the natural color. So if you go and buy these, these are probably the two top color choices that I would pick when buying these Easy Shrimp. So now there are a couple things that I didn't like about the lure, but I wouldn't say it would deter me from actually using it. Uh, you can kind of overcome these things. They're not too big of a deal, but I just wanted to make you aware of them so that when you go and purchase these, you can decide for yourself whether or not you actually want to get them and use them or not. So the first thing has to do with the hook. The hook, when I went to go purchase these, I didn't see a replacement hook anywhere in the store. So it would be nice if they did have replacement hooks in the stores that they sell these uh, pre-rigged ones in, or even if they just sell the ones that don't come pre-rigged, it would be nice to see the hooks in the store with the lure so that you can choose whether or not you want to buy it with the hook, without the hook, or the combination that comes with the hook. So that would have been nice to see. Also another thing with the hook and the weight is that when I did test this out, I have some underwater footage I'm going to show you here in a second, but when it sank to the bottom, the lure would sink to the bottom, hit the bottom, and then it would fall over on its side. And I didn't like that too much when I use gulp shrimp on a jig head. Uh, it usually goes down to the bottom and it kind of just sits there uh, in kind of a natural stance. It's not falling over. So I didn't like that too much. And I believe a good way that that can be fixed is to actually, if you look at the weight here, notice how narrow the weight is. It's pretty skinny and long, or wide rather. And it would be a lot better if this was more flat. It had a wider flat surface. That would kind of allow that lure to sit in more of an upright position 
when it hit the bottom. Now also you can put your own hooks on there to kind of avoid that problem. You can use a jig head, a big jig head that has probably a flat or a round bottom on it and that will allow that lure to sit more naturally when it hits the bottom and then you can start twitching it around, let it sink back down and it'll sit nice and flat on the bottom. So now let's go ahead and switch over to some underwater footage of the Easy Shrimp in action. So in this first clip here, you'll see a natural swimming motion where you would just do a steady reel or a steady retrieve where the lure would just be dragging in the water. And then you have a twitch and pause motion where the lure is very erratic. And in this next clip here, I'll actually slow it down. This clip is going to be slowed down and when the lure hits the bottom, notice it hits and then it falls over to the side. And that's what I was talking about earlier in the video with that weight being really uh, tall so it kind of knocks that lure over when it hits the bottom and just one more clip here showing that nice erratic motion of the lure which looks really good especially with that segmented tail causes that lure to kind of snap so that will wrap up this review on the easy shrimp if you have any questions about this at all please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also be aware that we're not sponsored or endorsed or affiliated with any companies, so these are independent, unbiased product reviews. We'll tell you what we like about them, what we don't like about them, and then you can decide whether or not you wanna go out there and actually purchase them and use them for yourself. So again, leave any questions and comments down below, and also, if you're interested in catching more fish in less time, guaranteed, definitely check out our Salt Strong Fishing Club at saltstrong.com. Check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.